Hey. Like my new character? I'm pretty much just a chill guy who really doesn't give a fuck. Hey, welcome back to another video. How's it going, people? I ignore what happened just there. But we're gonna be talking about Rec Room News today. So in today's little bit of Rec Room News that we're gonna be talking about, I have a weekly, some stuff that came from developers, and I also have some new stuff that's happened in UIs and etc. We're also going over contest winners too. So yeah, it's not gonna be a totally beefy video, I don't think, but of course, let's get started. So of course, starting off with the things you probably know about, Rec Room had a new fall fashion weekly rotation. These are the items we're working with, and you'll find out that these new item sets have like some sort of full body boots or some sort of, you know, full body alternative, and they're actually not too bad. They're pretty cheap. We even have a new copper mug, we even have this little copper leaf onesie, and we have this copper leaf backpack as well, and this jacket hoodie. We have a bunch of recolors too for cheap, and honestly, this is not a bad weekly shop at all. Werewolf, one of my YouTuber friends, that was talking about it and stuff like that, and he was talking about how he likes how simple this shop is, and I'm honestly inside the same boat. It's a really decent shop, seriously. Also, big shout out to the team and stuff like that for all the decorations and stuff, making it look nice. We can even sit down right here. You know, we love to see it. It's titled the Fall Fashion Collection, and if you guys go to Featured Creations, you'll notice that we have some new UGC as well. I'm pretty sure I haven't made a video covering this UGC and stuff like that, and of course, be sure to let me know what you guys think about all this. And of course, with this weekly rotation, we have some new bestsellers and stuff like that, and these are just items that are, you know, 50% off or have a massive sale going on. New recs at our shop, let me know what you think, kinda mid. And we got a new Featured Creator! That's pretty much it. Recon is also happening very soon, and I'm very excited to see you guys there, so be sure to let me know down in the comments below if you're going to be attending this year's Recon or not. Very excited! Also, gosh dang it, I know some of you players are inside a research lab. Did you know that you have surveys that you have to do? You better do them right now! And in other great news, it was actually announced the Video Contest 7 winner. There's an announcement by Eden the Apple, a Rec Room staff member saying, we're absolutely delighted to share the results of our short stories video contest, the talent and creativity displayed were nothing short of amazing, and our judges had an incredible time watching all the entries. You can check out all the winners at that link, which I will have down inside the description below. Thank you everyone for sharing your stories with us. Click through to see the full list of winners and celebrate the storytellers who brought their visions to life in the most brilliant ways. If you won, be sure to check your events tab for an invite to join our live stream happening this Saturday, 21st at 12pm PST. Huge thank you to everyone who participated, and of course, big shout out to all the contest winners. Boy, I was not doing a video contest this year, I just don't have time right now, but of course, hopefully next time it rolls around, your boy's in it. We'll see though, we'll, we'll see. Oh crap, totally forgot, with this weekly rotation, we didn't get any weekly rotation image, so uh, just gonna assume that we're gonna have this all week. And I really want to put this segment inside my video because I was looking for custom shirts a while ago and I thought this UI change was really, really dumb. Basically, you'll go to your customization menu and you'll look at your tops and stuff. You guys can see on my screen that we have tops, shoulder and back, and bottoms. Now, where the heck are the custom shirts? If you were to think to scroll all the way down, congrats, you're probably like the 15 people that thought about that, but I really don't like how custom shirts are on the bottom of tops. I feel like we need like a custom shirts tab and maybe even a UGC items tab, honestly. I think this was a really dumb split test that makes it harder to find items inside your customization menu, but of course, be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts. If any Rec Room developer is watching that right now, that's my feedback, and uh, yeah. <laughs> On top of that, full body avatars are now available to go into holotars now, which is pretty cool for map builders and stuff like that. <laughs> did, did I scare you? Uh, I, I, I was just trying to scare you because it's, it's spooky season. Let, let's just get with the memberships. I have channel memberships. People give me money every single month and I give them perks like being shouted out in all my videos or getting sneak peeks to videos. Okay, ready? Let's start. Of course, these people include Reed, Reed, a new calamari. Love to see it. Nat the Pup, Jack Tutorial, The Dragon Boy, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Dozer Blade Cat, BB Burning Owl, Yo Shaky, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix, Snide, and of course, Box David. Thank you all for supporting me. I greatly do appreciate it. It does mean a lot. And of course, I'll catch you guys inside the video. And I even have some little developer news that is very important to note. Now, before I get started, most of my Rec Room developer stuff comes from the Rec Room Discord server. Basically, people inside the community, like you and me, talk to developers about questions that you may have. That's why it's important to go over this stuff, and it leads us to new news, information, and possible updates in the future. Now, basically, it was asked why this version of the home UI, which is like a 2D simplistic version of the older UI, hasn't been rolled out to more people, and Quothy, a Rec Room developer, had this to say. They had went to chat with some other people 
people on the team to see what they were comfortable sharing, and here's what they can share. They're actually trying out something that looks a lot like this, and it's not that exact version, but one that we hope is more cleaned up. We need to do some more housekeeping internally before we can work on implementing it, but dates can change. We want to run a split test with it in the first half of the next year, and I'll do my best to keep you all updated when I can. And anyways, this is just a little message from a developer talking about a home UI that they hope to implement into Rec Room in the future. What do you guys think? Do you think we need a more simplistic home menu? I I'm honestly all ears for that. I'm tired of lagging, bro. I'm tired of lagging. And for our last piece of today's news, basically there was this bug with the new weekly item, the pumpkin copper onesie or something like that. I just went over this. I, I don't remember. But it had a problem with it glowing inside dark environments, and it was reported to Joad Animation, a Rec Room developer. It confirms that they spotted this the other day, and unfortunately they'll have to fix it, and they don't know why it's glowing yet because the asset doesn't even have an emissive texture. It looks like some wires got crossed in the metaverse. But when told that it looks so good, Joad Animation says that they'll pass that along. I'm always in favor of more glow-in-the-dark outfits and maybe a cool one or two coming out during Rectober. I'm hyped for this retcon and I'm hyped for this Rectober and hopefully we get some cool stuff coming out. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts and of course this was just a small little video honestly. So uh, yeah, like, subscribe, put on the post notification bell if you want to, and if you want to check out more Rec Room news, it's on that side of the screen and stuff. Maybe even share it with a friend. I recently got into, you know, burning incense instead of lighting candles. It's cheaper, it seems more cost effective, maybe. Let me know down in the comments below if you like incense or burning candles. Bye.